and right hand clap. Audio is good? Yeah. Right. Cool. Notes. <laughs> I guess the first 50 miles will be really trying to trying to race, trying to like put myself in as good a position as I can, um, and try and be a, you know find my put myself in a really fast group. Um, the next 100 miles, I just really want to settle in, focus on eating, drinking, nutrition, looking after myself, um, and then the last 50 miles will be yeah trying trying to get to the finish in the best possible place I can. I've been finding this real charm in sort of you know the excitement and the hype that Americans bring to gravel racing and at the moment I don't think anyone else in the world matches that sort of excitement um, and hype so yeah when you know gravel's probably five ten years behind where the US is at in Australia and um, yeah for us it's it, it, it does seem like the sort of home of gravel racing. There is no ideal unbound except for maybe a clean run. But in my experience, sometimes flatting or having a mechanical or some, sign, some kind of a setback, maybe you don't make the group. Personally, it gives me something to lean into and something to fight against. And therefore, I end up riding harder than if I had something clean, especially in my current mental state of... I'm not sure if I'm the badass cyclocross racer or gravel racer that I felt like I was years ago. And I'm trying to find that mindset again. So I think a perfect ideal race is being in a fighting mindset the whole time while remaining calm. Yeah, I used to excel on not very steep, but long sustained climbs. And anymore, I don't think I excel anywhere. I've kind of slipped back into my triathlete ways of kind of just being mediocre at everything, which <laughs> kind of plays to your advantage across any, any given course. This is definitely not a dense amount of climbing, but there's constant rollers and steep pitches. And I do think at least drawing from a cyclocross background, even though uh, my watts per kilo aren't quite what they should be to be a strong climber, uh, I have the ability to put in you know, a hard effort and in in dig deep for a steep pitch and uh, especially late in the game, hopefully climb up something steep that other people are struggling with or maybe even walking, at least if you're in the party pace zone. <laughs> You know, I don't think a lot of us really know what the game plan is because the women are starting after the, the elite women are starting after the elite men and it's definitely going to change the game. I've heard some people that, you know, it's going to be attacking from the start and trying to kind of sort it out and then other people have said it's going to be very mellow and just kind of easing into the day and I think most people are just going to wait and see. So who knows? One of the elders. How do I use that to the, my advantage? I don't know. I guess ex life experience and um, maybe with long things like this, accu accumulated endurance, um, just knowing like that things can hurt and how to get through it. Um, I don't know. Maybe that helps me. I wouldn't have said it like a month ago, but I'm actually really looking forward to tomorrow, uh, racing Unbound. So, you know, I actually found out I was doing the race like a week before heading to the Giro, which at the time was a little bit stressful considering uh, I yeah, was about to embark on a three week grand tour and uh, hadn't, really, uh, yeah, hadn't really gotten the time to uh, think really beyond <laughs> those three weeks. Um, so yeah, trying to wrap my head around doing a 330 kilometer, 200 mile race uh, five days after a grand tour was a little bit to swallow, uh, but now that I'm here, I'm actually pretty excited to be here, and I'm really excited to experience like the whole gravel scene and see what it's all about. So that I'm pretty excited about. And we were like going up that, what is it, two top, that last climb. Double peak. Double peak, we are going up double peak. And um, like Howard Grotz was like twisting the screws on me, and I was like, he's so small, I got this. <laughs> I was like, no, he doesn't get to he doesn't get to drop you today. And I was like digging in there and I was like, shit, I can't see. 
Like, I was like, like fully just tunnel it in. I like turned the throttle and I was like, I can't see. I was like, uh-oh, this isn't good. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it was, yeah, I, I honestly, that's like the only time. I don't know if I need to get my brain checked out or something, but it was definitely like, wow, if I just push too hard, I can't see anymore. And that's a weird feeling. Uh, I think it's probably glycogen related. Uh, or tumor related. I'll get a scan. That's fine. <laughs> You're good. I love the caramelized onions. I'm going to eat into it. Mm. Account, yeah. It's definitely that, you know, you have that thing you see on a menu that no matter what else is. Maybe I was doing the XLs. <laughs> no, that starts tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah. we're going to do what we can. Yeah. yeah. We're just carb loading right now. What are you eating? <laughs> So um, what's left of it? Yeah, what's left of it? I've got a left eggy tofu. I'm sure it's got some proper name. <laughs> okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Breaks. One of these days they're going to give you a pair that's just the right shape because they like whistle as you go fast or something. That'd be cool. Um, there's we like rain though. We do. We're on Laos. We got the clearance. We like rain. More mud the better, right? <laughs> More mud the better. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, I hope there's a lot of wind. I hope it's hot. I hope there's mud because we we like that. Right? Why not? It's unbound. It's why not? Cool. Well, I'm Ellen. Nice Ellen, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Raylan. 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 Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Guys. Okay, well, you me. Here you go, Taylor. So, are you going to dry this or uh, let it air dry? I'm going to let it air dry. We didn't bring any like microfibers really. Yeah. And definitely not enough for a full bike. So. Okay. Uh, the white ends up not. It ends up collect coagulating, so it doesn't turn into a sauce. Oh, you're a little cake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the tour. It's 157 miles, and yeah. we went out of the gate like four hours. Oh. So I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. No, it's, it's the same pace. I woke up early and just decided to get here a little early and just kind of adjust and get the nerves down. <laughs> and luckily it's actually dry. Yes, I'm very glad, very glad. <laughs> uh, don't punch it, don't rain, don't thunderstorm. <laughs> the rest of it I could do. <laughs> That's just yeah, the bit I'm most worried about. But I mean, the storms last night was crazy. Driving here, it's muddy on the roads. <laughs> Did you do a lot of free riding? Yeah, but it was dry for me. So, but this morning driving here on the gravel, it's muddy. So, yeah. I think that's going to be the, the biggest challenge today. I mean, it's a long day and it's just going to make it harder. Um, which is kind of okay. I think it just kind of, I don't know, the tactics kind of go out the window a bit more. It's just like right. survival. So, um, I hope to survive with the best. <laughs> You. What's hey, up, Matt? Hey, how, how are, you? are you? Good, man. Good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Good luck today. Thank you. What's up, Eno? Hey, Ryan. Good luck, Bell man. Worthy. Yeah. Bright and early. Bright and early. I, I'm, I'm probably more nervous than I have been at bike races. What about you? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but you know, it's such a long day. You get to work those nerves out. <laughs> I think it's just fall on wheels today. Everyone's kind of in that same boat. I'm sure it's like attacks start happening at some point, but it's still, everything like last year is just kind of like hard all day. Yeah, from the start to the end. Right. If, if you're lucky enough, yeah, you have, yeah, a clean run through it, so, yeah. Nice. Traffic light, I'm gonna do 1500 watts. Okay. And hopefully I get a solid gap and then I'm just gonna hold it all the way till mile 205. Okay, <laughs> yeah, put in the big ring now. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How are you? Just another unbound. Another, another unbound. Ten minute earlier start, a little kick in the crotch, but. <laughs> and everyone says, this time it's different. 
<laughs> it's not different. <laughs> How's the, uh, what, what setup are you running today on uh, the tires? I am last minute audible like everyone. That rainstorm was significant. So um, running the, the Boken Plus, kind of a mullet setup, 42 front, 38 rear, thinking about mug clears, thinking about not sticking and gumming up in, in some of the mucky stuff. Uh -huh. So kind of like a fat, semi-slick type of thing. Loading my route. You should load the route. Should load the route. Oh, good call. Are you gonna ride with that jacket on? Yeah, it's pretty cold. Nice. <laughs> You're cold. It's Ella. winter in Australia right now, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> um. Ryan, I might give you my blinky lights. Good luck today. Thank you. How are you feeling? Um, I threw up three times this morning. Nice. So I don't know if it's like nerves or if I'm like sick. So. Okay. That's normal. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, feeling good. Um, I mean, at this point, a little bit of nerves is good and normal. So, yeah. yeah feeling ready to go. Yeah, this point. You gotta eat and pedal and, yeah, stay smart out there. It's a long day with the mud and stuff. A lot can happen. So, just being smart and staying calm. So, nice. Yeah. Well, good luck to you and Thanks. all the prep is done. Now, yeah. it's, now it's time. Then for uh, Tour de Lain and Worlds. Oh, okay. Yeah, All I guess right, it's dude. like, pretty so like tight uh, pack. six weeks of uh, six weeks of commentating. Oh man, just who knows? The course can be so gnarly with the mud and just trying to be trying to be like everybody else, trying to be close to the front without being at the front. You know, trying to stay in good position for all the crappy sections. And uh, any plans for crazy BWR style attacks? No, fuck no. <laughs> but knowing myself, I'll probably end up out the front solo at some point. Okay, um, we'll be looking for you. Okay. Good luck today. <laughs> Lifetime only. No one else is out. Yeah, I bring you if you want to drink. Double! Double! I'm Bucky. Good job, guys. Come on, Keegan. Yeah, Finsty. Up, up, up. All right, let's go, Lockie. Come on, Payson. Come on, Roberge. Let's go, Cole. Yeah, Pete. All right, Matt. Come on, Ivar. About 30 seconds. Yeah, is that? Whoa! <laughs> All right, Sophia. Good job. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not a good sound. That was Ellen Campbell. All right, Larry. Come on, Carolyn. Come on, Payson. They're about two minutes in front of you. All right, Griffin. Payson's about two minutes in front of you guys. Two minutes. Come on, Cole. 
You're about three minutes behind the group in front of you. Three minutes. You have oh, a sidewall yeah, puncture? Uh, right here, I think. Right here. No. No, I don't. It's not. Yeah. He's on a grizzle. He's on a grizzle. You have a hangout with Yeah, yeah. Brian, what do you think? Five, four. I got it. That was going to prep a UD yeah. as well. How'd you want to I got a Venmo? You have Venmo? Yeah, uh, no, but I'll give you cash. Come on, Finsty! Quick wash! 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 Quick Wipe your face, you're good with this. No, I'm good. Do we have. Wait, hold on. Go, 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 Pete. Go, Pete. His rear Mac. Go, 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 Back up. Listen, listen. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, Pete. Nice one. Lawrence, he's right there. Seven minutes. Okay, let's go. Come on, Adam, let's go. Time to go, Alexi just went through, you can bridge up. Thanks guys. Alrighty, Var. Broke my derailleur. You broke your derailleur? Yeah, half single speed. Front or rear? Rear. You guys got some water for me? Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Bike, bike, bike. Yes, do you need your free change? Jen, come on up here. Okay, then just stay there and get her.
Okay, shift is coming right behind. Okay, shift is getting on the bike. Okay, gotta go. Go, go, go. Ooh. Some water, water. Water, water, water. All right, Peter. Good job, boys. Eight minutes in front. All right, Fitz, you're looking good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, can we cap that? Yeah. Eleven minutes. Good, All right, go, go, go. Good luck. All right, yeah, go get him. Go get him. Take water in my bag. In my, with me. Put both mix on, please. Mix, 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 mix. And, get, and I'll take the water. Water. Fuck bike racing's hard. You're doing great, man. Thanks. Thank you. Ice socks. Ice socks. Thank you. Happy dirt? Good. Okay, man, let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. I couldn't even try to pass with so many people there. Oh. It was dangerous. How was that last attack? It was good. Something that suits me well. You were able to hang on that attack? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's good for the sprint, but you can be really fast, but there was no place to, right. to go. Right. Great job. Okay. Thank you for being here. Yeah, the finish it was quite hectic, so yeah. kind of figured I'd go a little bit long and hopefully uh, kind of block a bit. And, yeah, worked out. You did work out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Keegan, this is what does this win mean for you? Oh, man, it's big. Um, Congrats. You know. Thank you. I mean, last year I lost in the same uh, same fashion, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, kind of had some flashbacks to last year going to that last hill and, you know, tried to play my cards a little bit better. Uh, I was a little bit worried there at the very end, but... Were you scared by uh, that attack from Lockie right at the end? Yeah, I mean, that was a good attack. He kind of caught us off guard a bit, and, um, but, yeah, I mean, just made it work. How does this one compare to everything else you've done up to this point? Well, I mean, this one's, you know, one of the biggest. Uh, you know, just coming up a bit short last year, stung. <laughs> Lost sleep over it for a long time, so you know, I'm super excited to put it together and take a win here. Congrats, man. Thank you. Yeah, Leah, get in there. I'm going to ask the same question. <laughs> Tired. Yeah. That was, that was a brutal day. How was that? Uh, painful. Yeah, both my legs were cramped. So it's just like doing as much power as you can with double leg lock up. <laughs> did you did you not have enough nutrition or um yeah I didn't have water the last two hours so that wasn't ideal but um yeah felt felt strong all day just kind of lost a little a little bit at the end there. Are you happy with your results? Um I think I was sick so one spot off the podium so that's a bit frustrating after 200 miles of fighting but please 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 Empty the complete no, not, thing. not pissed or anything, just empty yeah. to my soul. <laughs> How was that last attack by Lockie? Smart move. Really smart move. Uh, hit it through the corner like that. Yeah. Uh, onto the sidewalk. Um, brilliant move, and I just I didn't have any more snap left. I I tried on those hills and in the after Madison and couldn't shake them. It was just. Uh, this race is so built for a sprint now with that, yeah. that run-in, so... Were you sure it was going to come down to a sprint? Yeah, we all kind of knew. Everyone would try a few flurries. It started to get exciting there when Lawrence was throwing some haymakers in like the last 10K and latched onto a few of those, but the thing with Unbound is everyone's just so, so tired. No one actually has the stamina to solo it, you know? Right. So... Um, How was the mud out there on it? Just... It was hard. I, I did not have a clean run. Um, after the mud, I was two, at the cattle pens, I was two and a half minutes back. Okay. So uh, it was Lawrence, Paul Voss, right. Peter Backhawk, and myself. Uh, that was probably the best part of the day. Is it's just yeah, you know, there's four World Tour pros, and just right. there was harmony. You didn't even have to talk. It was just, you guys were just quiet. we knew how to do it and we knew how to chase back and we, it took us an hour but we closed that gap. Yeah. Um, but that was definitely a couple bullets spent there. Um, and I, I didn't have the fastest uh, first aid station. Um, I, uh, I opted for a bike wash which I think was the right call. Everyone else just kept running their grummed up stuff but uh, what that meant is I had to time trial back again, right. so uh, definitely spent a few bullets in, in in ideal moments, but you know that's unbound. Yeah, something goes wrong for everyone out there. So exactly, that's how you deal with it. Um, so yeah, it was nice to play the final. Congrats, man! And, and there was a the, that, that seven. Everyone did equal weight. There was none of the. No beef, nothing bad. It just pleasure with those guys all day. So yeah, it's a fun race. Awesome, Pete. Thanks. <laughs> Were you? Was that a tackle land, or did you just? Yeah, I had a look at it yesterday, and um, 
I knew in a straight up sprint it wasn't going to work, so I'd have to like invent something. And everyone expects it on the hill, but no one, if you come with some speed from behind there, I knew I could like, uh, you know, give it a good nudge. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I mean, that was my only shot, you know. Um, if you don't have the best legs, you got to invent something. So, uh, Higgin was just too good and he, he didn't hesitate to chase me and, you know, he deserved to win. So, um, um, uh, no, I mean, I'm happy with, with how it went, you know, in the end. Like, I had a good race. So. No, no, I mean, like, everyone had to stop with the mud and shit, yeah, but, uh, no. Like, have you thrown a mic on you? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Brian can ask the questions too. Those are good questions. What's up? <laughs> you can ask the questions. Okay. Go for it. So you've done, you've done Unbound now multiple times. First time back in 2019. How does this one sort of compare to all the other ones? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the level gets higher and higher every year. So, um, like, it's a flat out race from start to finish now. And, um, but yeah, that was a, that was a fun one. I enjoyed that. Like we had a good, good group of guys at the front there who were very committed, like from the beginning and everyone basically worked all the way. Um, and you know, everyone was really evenly matched. So every time we're trying to attack each other and feel each other out, um, just come back together because <laughs> everyone had the same amount of legs in the end. Gummy bears. Disappointed, but um, yeah, I think I think the mud caught everyone off guard, and uh, yeah, yeah, I got through it, did me okay, and uh, yeah, I was chasing back, and I got pretty close to the, the front group. I think I was like two minutes, um, and then I got a punch a double double flat, picked that. Had to keep bombing it, and uh, then I was just chasing all day, and I made, I made up as much ground as I could. But um, yeah, you could only do so much trying to get minutes back. Like you, you only so strong, so yeah, it's what it is. That quite an experience. Unbelievable, you were on a mission out there. What does it mean to you to win 
a race this big like Unbound? It's just like a dream. I don't know what to say. I didn't expect that, so it's just crazy. And I wasn't sure if I do the right thing was just go with uh, this long way to go, but I made it. <laughs> You definitely made it in that time. It proves that risky moves pay off. And Carolyn, you went solo. Very early. I'm not even sure if anyone has ever done that like that. Tell us about it. Tell us what was going through your head. Yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, I felt good. And I had a pretty bad uh, back pain, but that was OK in the end. And yeah, then I just pushed, pushed, pushed. But in between it, it was like, like, like in hell. <laughs> it's with me, so I, I just thought, okay, I have to go alone. Makes no sense with her. <laughs> Do you think that's how you rode through your back pain? Oh yeah, that was also a point because my back pain was actually better when I pushed. So I just. So you had to go. I had to go. out of me at the beginning. I think at mile 140 or so is when I started to finally come around. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say of course a mix of emotions. If you won last year and you have a lot to be proud of. I mean second place anyone promises in his life and then gets the podium to an experience process. How did it work out there? I know you were in the lead, in the chase. Uh, there was a lot of these changes, a lot of dynamics going on. So, when, what finally decided the race? I think the race was decided when Ivar actually went to the front and kind of oh, wow. put in a bit of an effort. And uh, he also left with and I. Um, her and I just kind of worked between ourselves. So, kind of once we got back to Peter Hill, it's now like the tank and he was me. Uh, now it's right about when it didn't feel good. So, you know, this race is like, there's definitely such a big role, and I just wish that someday we'll have the opportunity to like have our own race day where no man kind of take you know they don't decide our race because like I don't think I would have maybe finished like cut it off in for Matt and Jordan and it's like they're like we will take care of you and get you home mm -hmm. so it's like you know it's fair game and you know there are no rules yeah you know it is what it is but. I just think we're, we're ready to have our own, our own race. And, you know, maybe not the full distance like I told you this morning. Like, I think for me, the quality doesn't mean really that I can do the same thing as the brand. Or as the brand, maybe quality. Having a fair race where we really go from the tech. Thank you. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> nice to see. How <laughs> fucked are my eyes? Oh, damn it. Again. Better? Okay. <laughs> so, first time you know, third, top three. This is not my race. But it is today. It is today. Yeah. Can you speak to that? Um, yeah. I honestly don't think I really have words. I just, in my wildest dreams, I don't think I thought I would get on a podium at Unbound. I've always kind of like counted this one as like a race that I'm not like super naturally good at but um, I think the crazy conditions helped for me um, I definitely was like questioning some choices <laughs> out there but um, yeah I think I think people come apart when it's when it's shitty out and they did they were allowed yeah I bet and I think all those years of cycle class it paid off <laughs> That was a long day. Um, I said to everyone, like, I've only ever done the recce when it's been dry, so like, I didn't know what to expect when I hit that mud, and it was just chaos. But I just like told myself, you know, it is a 200 mile race, so it, I was having a real mare with my tyres trying to get the mud off, and I was just slipping back and back. But I knew if I just got my head down, cracked on, then I could get a good result. So yeah, that's what I did. I just kept pushing and pushing and picking people off. You and, and Sarah seem to be working together. Oh yeah, she was great. Yeah, we, I think we spent like the last like I don't know 1,800 miles together, okay. and we were just like pushing and pushing and pushing. And then someone was like, "Sophia's up there." We were trying to go, but we had just been pushing so hard all day. It was quite hard. No, 
not sketchy, just not paying attention. Yeah. Are you happy with top 10? So happy. Okay. That's awesome. That's so good. It's uh, It was grueling out there. Do you have any mechanicals? No. Other than like dropping chains, but... Right. Exactly. Well, well, congrats. We're stoked for you. Thank you. I was like, just get to 80. That's the only mission. <laughs> yeah. Well, glad you made it. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm glad I didn't call it. I didn't even know if I could get out of there for a bit. Because the chain wouldn't stay on at all. Oh, okay. So, wow. yeah. Thank God a uh, Shimano guy rode by. Did they just swap out a new chain and, and battery? He got the chain to stay in one gear. Okay. So, at least it wasn't. Got it. Awesome. Well, amazing yeah. effort out there. Thank you. This race, I always say every year, is epic. And obviously, this year was no exception. The wind, the rain, the mud, it took a lot of people out and it also became a race, I think, of a bit of, you know, good legs but good luck. And for the people that made it without a mechanical, that in some cases is luck because people had to drop out for so many reasons that had to do with their bike. Now, that being said, you know, we're here in Emporia, a beautiful place, lots of people, the town welcomes everyone, and this race gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Which kind of begs the question, how much is too much? Is 350 too much? Is 200 too much? Is 100? But the thing is, people come back and they love it. They love it every year. They come back and it's going to get bigger and better. And people build their entire season around this race, which you just don't see in other places. So I really think that this race is, uh, for lack of a better word, special. But at the same time, something that really sets itself apart from so many other events out there. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, uh, I really want you to check out more of the content when it comes to cycling and gravel. And until next time, this is Brian saying stay Veloworthy.